Velocity Vector Applications A pilot wished to reach an airport 1250 km from his present position at a heading of 43 degrees east of north. The wind is from the direction of 80 degrees west of north with a speed of 84 km per hour. The plane has an airspeed of 625 km per hour. Part A of the question is determine the heading the pilot should steer and the ground speed of the plane. And part B is determine the time it will take for the plane to reach the destination. So read the question once again and then try to draw the diagram. So you can draw both velocity and displacement diagrams here. So I have already done one for you in which I have combined kind of both the things, right? So let's have a good look at the diagram to understand what the question is. A pilot wished to reach an airport 1250 km from his present position at a heading of 43 degrees east of north. So draw your axis east and north, east, west, north, south. 43 degrees east of north is this angle. You see that 43 degrees east of north and that is the direction in which the airport is and it is 1250 kilometer away. So R is the vector, 1250 kilometer is the distance which is shown here and it is 43 degrees east of north. So that is this vector. The wind is from the direction 80 degrees west of north. So from north you go 80 degrees west. That is your 80 degrees west. And that's the wind blowing, right? With a speed of 84 kilometers an hour. So that speed of the wind is 84 kilometers an hour. So this arrow here represents wind, which is 80 degrees west of north with a speed of 84 kilometers per hour. Now think like this. As soon as you write 80 here, then you know that this small angle here will be 10 degrees, 90 minus 80. And that is what I've written here, 10 degrees, right? The plane has an airspeed of 625 km per hour. So actually plane needs to head somewhere like this. But because of this wind, it is going to reach the airport, right? So that is the plane heading. And the airspeed is 625 km per hour, which is written here. The plane speed P is 625 kilometers per hour and this vector p gives you plane speed right now the question here is determine the heading the pilot should steer and the ground speed of the plane now ground speed of the plane is this speed so we'll try to find that relative speed right and heading is that angle. Determine the heading the pilot should steer. So pilot should steer this angle. Do you understand? This angle. Which is 43 degrees minus theta. Minus this theta. Which we will try to find out. Correct? So that is the strategy. The most important part in solving these application problems is... To make these diagrams. So once you have made a correct one, then it becomes kind of simpler, right? Now, I hope you understand how it has been drawn here. So the steps are as you read, sketch. 
A pilot wished to reach an airport 1250 kilometers from his present position at a heading of 43 degrees east of north. North, south, east, west, 43 degrees and there it goes. 1250 kilometers, 43 degrees east of north. Wind is from the direction of 80 degrees west of north. There, 80 degrees west of north. Opposite angles, write down this as 10. The plane has air speed of 625. So just draw a line with some angle theta. Plane 625 and there you are. Now you know, the resultant of plane and the wind should be this. Because you need to reach the airport, right? Which is 1250 kilometers at a heading of. 43 degrees east of north. So we got this parallelogram. Now here we are assuming that let this be the theta between the resultant and plane heading. Then we can find this using sine ratios, right? So let's do our calculation now. So for simplicity, I have drawn my triangle here, right? Now what we have here is, look at it, this is my resultant R and if that is the theta, then these two lines are parallel, the wind velocities which are parallel to complete the parallelogram. So theta is also this angle, alternate angle. So that is the alternate angle theta with R here, right? 625 is the speed of the plane, 625, so this will be 625. Right? The angle here is 47, 90 minus 43. So this angle, how do you get? This is 90 minus 43 plus 10. Do you see that? So we get 57. Correct? So as soon as you have made this 43 from here to there, you know this much is 47. And then we have 10 from the wind velocity. Right? So this angle is 57. So we have this triangle to solve and we can use the sine law, which is, so from here the ratios of sine theta with the angles are constant in a triangle, right? So we can write here as 625 over sine 57 is equal to 84 over sine theta. Correct? Now, 84 is the wind velocity. So, so the ratio of 84, the side and the angle, is equal to the ratio of 625, the side, and the angle opposite to it, 57, right? So from here, you can find what theta is, right? So theta is equals to sine inverse. So we'll cross multiply, we get 84 divided by 625 times sine of 57 right and then you find the angle using the calculator so here we have so we do sine inverse that is second function and within brackets so brackets are very important here you can do 84 times sine of 57 and then you have divide that by 625 and then close the bracket right then when you close the bracket you get approximately this is equal to 6 degrees so now we get theta as 6 degrees for us so we know this theta is 6 degrees so that helps us to answer the first part, which is determine the heading the pilot should steer and the ground speed of the plane. So heading we know now. So the heading for us will be, so from here to here it is 43 degrees, we will take away theta. Do you see that? So the heading is 43 degrees minus 6 degrees, so which is 37 degrees, right? Now as you can see, so the heading of the plane should be, it is 37 degrees 
of it is 37 degrees east of north right so we can write this as from north it is 37 degrees east so that is the heading of the plane now what is the ground speed of the plane that means we need to find r right that becomes the ground speed the resultant velocity of the plane so again use sign sign law now in this triangle now we know this angle how this angle is equal to 180 minus 57 degrees and minus 6 degrees so let's this angle is 180 degrees sum of angles in a triangle are 180 degrees minus 57 degrees and minus 6 degrees right and that gives us the angle which is here right so you can calculate this angle write it down it is 180 minus 57 minus 6 equals to 117 correct now we'll use this angle to find r right so we can write r over sine of 117 degrees is equal to 625 of sine of 57 degrees and from here we can find what r is okay so so that this r we're talking about is the magnitude right because here we are comparing the magnitudes correct we will we have already found the direction that's the direction correct so rearrange your formula and use the calculate to calculate so from here we get the magnitude r equals to we'll do 625 times sine of 117 degrees divided by sine of 57 degrees right and calculate the answer 625 times sine of 117 equals to divided by sine of 57 and we get our answer as 664 points okay so you're very close so it is 664 we'll write 664 here so that is the resultant velocity of the plane right so that's our answer so and th therefore we can write determine the heading the pilot should steer and the ground speed of the plane so we get the ground speed of the plane is so we can write here which is vr so we can write our answer vr is equals to 664 kilometers per hour and the plane is heading in the direction of north from north 37 degrees east so 37 degrees east of north so that's what we get as our answer for this problem now part b of the question is determine the time it will take for the plane to reach the destination right r gives you the distance and we know the velocity right so oh sorry distance is 1250 kilometers r is your velocity so we will divide this distance by the velocity to get the time right therefore we can say time t is equal to 1250 which is the distance given in kilometers divided by r which is 664 let me write kilometers per hour here 664 and that gives you 1.88 so we can say it's 1.88 hours right so to convert it we can say it is one hour so it's about an hour and how many minutes so 0 0.88 times 60 will give you minutes so around 53 minutes right so it gives us minutes as 53 minutes so that's the time taken for the flight correct so it's a very interesting problem and I hope you understand and appreciate the method followed most important here is to draw the vector diagrams for both velocity and displacement right 
So once you do that, then it becomes kind of simpler. So I'd like you to have a good look at this and understand how to draw these diagrams. And then it's a question of using sine law and cosine law to get the answers. So in all the questions, you have to use sine law or cosine law and get the answers. Correct? I hope you understand and appreciate it. Let's move on to more questions. Thanks and all the best.